Donald Trump left office with the lowest approval rating of any president ever. But some people now seem to be suffering from amnesia. Let me jog your memory. Here are the 10 worst things about the Trump presidency, in no particular order. Number one, Trump fueled division and sparked a record uptick in hate crimes. Number two, murder went way up under Trump. He presided over the largest ever single year increase in homicides in 2020. Now, a, a number of factors might have contributed to that, but a big one is number three. Gun sales broke records under Trump, who has bragged about how he did nothing. We did nothing. To restrict guns as president, in spite of number four, under Trump, America suffered more than 1,700 mass shootings. Number five, Trump said there were very fine people among the neo-Nazis in Charlottesville. Jews will not replace us. I'm halfway to 10. If you think I'm missing something big, we'll just leave it in the comments. Number six, Trump allied himself with the Proud Boys, a violent hate group who helped orchestrate the January 6th Capitol attack. Proud boys, boys, stand back and stand by. Number seven, Trump's not wrong when he says, I got rid of Roe v. Wade. It's entirely because of Trump's judicial appointments that one in three American women of childbearing age now lives in states with abortion bans. Number eight, one of Trump's Supreme Court justices was Brett Kavanaugh, a man accused of sexual assault by multiple women. Number nine, Trump's White House interfered in the FBI's investigation of Brett Kavanaugh's alleged sexual assaults. And now, number 10. Trump has been convicted of committing 34 felonies while in office. The criminally false business filings he got convicted for in New York, all of them were committed while he was president. I'm sorry, did I say the 10 worst things about the Trump presidency? <laughs> no, I meant 15. Number 11, Trump's failed pandemic response is estimated to have led to hundreds of thousands of needless deaths. By the time Trump left office, roughly 3,000 Americans were dying of COVID every day. That's a 9-11 scale mass casualty event every single day. How did Trump screw up so badly? Number 12, Trump's White House discarded the pandemic response playbook that had been assembled by the Obama administration. Number 13, Trump disbanded the National Security Council's pandemic response team. Number 14, Trump repeatedly lied about the danger of COVID, saying it was no worse than the flu or it would go away on its own. Because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. A lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. But behind closed doors, Trump admitted he knew COVID was deadly. This is deadly stuff. Number 15, Trump promoted fake COVID cures like hydroxychloroquine and even injecting people with disinfectants. Injection inside or or almost a cleaning. After Trump's disinfectant remarks, poison control centers received a spike in emergency calls. That's 15 things. Should I keep going? Okay, I'll keep going. The 20 worst things about the Trump presidency. Number 16, Trump presided over a net loss of 2.9 million American jobs. The worst recorded jobs numbers of any president in US history. Number 17, Trump profited off the presidency, making an estimated $160 million from foreign countries while he was president. Number 18, Trump also billed the Secret Service over a million dollars for the privilege of staying at his golf clubs and other Trump properties while they protected him. That's your money. Number 19, Trump caused the longest government shutdown in U.S. history when he didn't get funding for his border wall, which he said Mexico was going to pay for. I'm not going to pay for that wall. Number 20. Under Trump, the national debt increased by about 40 percent, more than in any other four-year presidential term, largely because of his tax cuts for the rich and big corporations. You didn't really think I was stopping at 20, did you? We're going to 25. Number 21, 
Trump separated more than 5,000 children from their parents at the border with no plan to ever reunite them, putting babies in cages. <laughs> Number 22, the Muslim ban. Yes, Trump really did try to ban Muslims from entering the country. Number 23, Trump sparked international outrage by moving the American embassy in Israel to Jerusalem while closing the U.S.-Palestine office. Number 24, Trump tasked his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, with drafting a potential Middle East peace plan with zero Palestinian input. Number 25, and finally, Trump recognized Israel's occupation of the Golan Heights, which is considered illegal under international law. So, there you have it, folks. The 25 worst... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I mention the impeachments? We've got to do the impeachments. Okay, let's go to 30. Number 26. Trump broke the law by trying to withhold nearly $400 million of U.S. aid for Ukraine in an effort to extort a personal political favor from Ukraine's President Zelensky. Trump wanted Zelensky to interfere in the 2020 election by announcing an investigation into the Bidens. Delaying this aid to Ukraine weakened Ukraine and strengthened Russia. Number 27, Trump personally attacked and ruined the careers of everyone who stood in the way of his illegal Ukraine scheme, including Ambassador Marie Yovanovitch and Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman. Number 28, to cover up the scheme, Trump ordered the White House and State Department to defy congressional subpoenas. We're fighting all the subpoenas. Number 29. For these reasons, on December 18th, 2019, Trump became the third U.S. president to be impeached. He was charged with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Number 30. Even while he was being investigated for trying to get Ukraine to interfere in the U.S. election, Trump publicly called for China to interfere in the election. China should start an investigation into the Biden. So, those are the 30... What about the other impeachments and trying to end American democracy? Hmm. There was also a <clears> pandemic <throat> and whatever. Yep. All right, so let's just repeat. Okay, I'll go to 35. Number 31. Long before Election Day, Trump started making false claims that the election would be rigged. It will be a rigged election. Number 32. After losing... Trump falsely claimed the election was stolen, even though his own inner circle, including his campaign manager, White House lawyers, and his own Justice Department and Attorney General told him it was not. The claims of fraud were bullshit. Number 33. Trump kept telling his big lie even after more than 60 legal challenges to the election were struck down in court, many by Trump-appointed judges. Number 34. Trump ordered the Department of Justice to falsely claim that the election was corrupt. Number 35, Trump and his allies used threats to pressure state leaders in Arizona and Georgia to falsify the election results. We may go to 40. Is that okay? 40? Number 36, when none of the previous schemes worked, Trump and his allies produced fake electoral votes cast by fake electors in multiple swing states. We're electors. We're electors. We're electors. We're electors. We're electors. Yeah, the electors are already here. They've been checked in. Trump's former White House chief of staff and Rudy Giuliani are among the many members of his inner circle who have been criminally indicted for this scheme. Number 37, Trump tried to bully Vice President Pence into obstructing the certification of the election. If Mike Pence does the right thing, we win the election. Number 38, Trump invited a mob to the Capitol on January 6th with his, quote, be there, will be wild tweet. Number 39, sworn testimony alleges that when Trump was warned that members of the crowd were carrying deadly weapons, he ordered security metal detectors to be taken down Number 40, knowing the crowd had deadly weapons, he ordered them to go to the Capitol and fight like hell. Number 41, yes, yes, I know, I know, I know, bear with me, I've got to go on. 
Trump betrayed his oath to defend the nation by doing nothing to stop the January 6th violence. Instead, according to witness testimony, he sat and watched TV for hours. Number 42, on January 13th, 2021, Trump became the only president ever to be impeached twice. This time, he was charged with incitement of insurrection. It was a bipartisan vote. Number 43, the majority of senators, 57 out of 100, voted to convict Trump, including seven Republican senators. So that's the two impeachments and the big lie. But wait, wait, wait. We haven't dealt with Russia, right? We're going to 50, all right? We're going to 50. Number 44, Trump publicly sided with Putin over the U.S. intelligence community in denying Russia's interference in the 2016 election. Number 45, in a likely obstruction of justice, Trump pressured then FBI Director James Comey to stop the FBI's investigation into Trump's national security advisor, Michael Flynn. This was documented in the Mueller report. Number 46, when Comey didn't bend to Trump's will, Trump fired him. Number 47, Trump tried to shut down the Mueller investigation by ordering White House counsel Don McGahn to fire Mueller. McGahn refused because that would be criminal obstruction of justice. Number 48, Trump ordered his staff not to turn over emails showing Don Jr. had set up a meeting at Trump Tower before the 2016 election with representatives of the Russian government. Number 49, Trump convinced Michael Cohen to lie to Congress about Trump's plans to build a Trump Tower in Moscow. And Cohen served prison time for lying to Congress. Number 50, Trump was not charged for criminal obstruction of justice because it's the Justice Department's policy not to indict a sitting president. But more than a thousand former federal prosecutors who served under both Republicans and Democrats signed a letter declaring there was more than enough evidence to prosecute Trump. So those are the 50 worst things about the Trump presidents. Now I could go on, and I will. The 75 worst things about the Trump presidency. Number 51, Trump said he'd hire only the best people. The best people. The best, 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 best people in the world. But his campaign chair was convicted of multiple crimes. So was one of his closest associates. His deputy campaign chair pleaded guilty to crimes. So did his personal lawyer, his national security advisor, the chief financial officer of his business campaign, a campaign foreign policy advisor, and one of his campaign fundraisers. They all committed crimes, and Trump pardoned most of them. Number 52, Trump said he drained the swamp in Washington, D.C. But he appointed more billionaires, CEOs, and Wall Street moguls to his administration than any administration in history. Number 53, Trump intervened to get his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, top-secret clearance after he was denied over concerns about foreign influence. Number 54, Trump hosted a Russian foreign minister in the Oval Office where Trump revealed top-secret intelligence. Oh! and Trump's economic policies. Number 55, Trump promised that the average American family would see a $4,000 pay raise because of his tax cuts for the wealthy and big corporations. Well, how did that work out? Did you get a $4,000 raise? Of course not, nobody did. Number 56, Trump vowed to protect American jobs, but offshoring increased and manufacturing fell. Number 57, Trump said he would fix America's infrastructure, but it never happened. He announced so many failed infrastructure weeks, they became a running joke. Since it's infrastructure week. <laughs> <laughs> Is it infrastructure week? <laughs> Number 58, Trump said he would be the voice of American workers. I am your voice. But he filled the National Labor Relations Board with anti-union flax, who made it harder for workers to unionize. Number 59, Trump's Labor Department made it easier for bosses to get out of paying workers overtime, which cheated 8 million workers of extra pay. Number 60, Trump repeatedly suggested he might serve more than two terms in violation of the Constitution and continues to do so. We may have to go for an extra term. Number 61, Trump called Haiti and African nations 
shithole countries. Number 62, Trump tried to terminate DACA, which protects immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. Luckily, this was struck down by the courts. Number 63, Trump called climate change a hoax. Number 64, Trump pulled out of the Paris Climate Agreement. Number 65, Trump rolled back more than 100 environmental protections. Number 66, every budget Trump proposed included cuts to Social Security and Medicare. Number 67, Trump tried and failed to repeal the Affordable Care Act, which would have resulted in 20 million Americans losing insurance and striking down the ACA's protections for the roughly 130 million people with pre-existing conditions could have driven up their insurance premiums or led to a loss of coverage. Number 68, Trump made it easier for employers to remove birth control coverage from insurance plans. Number 69, by the end of Trump's term, the number of people lacking health insurance had risen by three million. Number 70, Trump lied constantly. He made 30,573 false or misleading claims while president, an average of 21 a day, according to the Washington Post fact checkers. Number 71, Trump allegedly took hundreds of classified documents on his way out of the White House, reportedly including nuclear secrets, which he then left unsecured in various parts of Mar-a-Lago, including a bathroom, he was even caught on tape showing them off to people. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers, except it is like highly confidential. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. See, as president, I could have did less, yeah. but now I can't. Number 72, Trump seriously discussed the idea of nuking a hurricane. Number 73, when Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, Trump delayed $20 billion of aid and allowed Puerto Rico to be without power for 181 days. Number 74, Trump suggested withholding federal aid for California wildfire recovery and said the solution was to clean the floors of the forest. You gotta take care of the floors. Number 75, Trump pulled out of the Iran deal, placing Iran on a path to developing nuclear weapons. Honestly, there's so much more from exchanging love letters with North Korea's brutal dictator. We fell in love. To publicly denigrating a gold star military widow and making her cry. Uh, to the way he attacked journalists. To late night tweet binges. Uh, look, I can understand why a lot of people want to block all of this out of their memories, but we cannot afford to forget just how terrible Trump's time at the White House was for this nation. And we sure as hell can't afford to put him back there.